ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. I gotta hit on this blue face situation, child. And this whole situation with Carlisa. Carlisa, his mom, over the past few days has been a mess. So, let me see if I can pull this up here. Him and Carlisa got into it really bad because Carlisa does not like the fact that Blueface is now engaged to Jaden Alexis. She feels a way. Is this it? Okay, yeah. Let me go ahead and share my screen here. Give me just a second. Y'all got me cracking up in this, in this chat. Okay. So here we go with the blue face and Carlisa T. Okay. So blue face just be talking so much shit. He says, my mother is a whore who's been married three times, three kids by three different men and never married none of the men, only random men that she liked with a lot of money. So she could divorce and take from them. So she could divorce and take from them at the end of the day. It's all... At the end of it all, she's sleeping with a bum every night. Sad story for real. Could never respect her as a woman. Jaden got two kids, one baby daddy, and a ring. She's really her for real. Follow behind these hoes if you want to. I got a real bitch on SY, which stands for Schoolyard Crip. Blueface is just, he's, he's so extra. Then he says, post your ring and I'm going to post mine. You want to compare booties, right, Carlissa? Let's compare rings. Let's see what type of ring that old booty got and what type of ring that new booty got. My wife going to always win. Carlissa says, did this ninja propose to the maid? Oh, well, it is October. Then she says, my bum got papers on mines. You got that downtown L.A. in the swap meet district. Then she says, now tell the people you married the maid just in case you got to go to prison. The end. Congratulations. Oh, no. You in charge. Congratulations. And that's from that movie Hustle and Flow. Then he posts the picture of the ring that he gave Jade and Alexis. And people and the lady pinched his dick. Blue was never back and forth living with his dad. That's a motherfucking lie. He went one time for for four or five months and it was a single apartment with his dad and it's some other lady that looked like a transvestite and he came home and said I ain't never going again and he didn't now ask which grade of school you go find out I got report cards for every fucking year that them motherfuckers been born and I can guarantee you they spent one school year with my grandmother in Ohio so I could get my shit together and she told me to come get them motherfuckers Jonathan did not live back and forth with his daddy. I got a report card for every fucking lie. He went over there with the Mexican people and the lady pinched his dick and that was the end of that shit. Okay, that's the end of it. Don't bring that shit up to me no more. No the fuck no. Them people did not help me raise my fucking son, no. I will give his dad some credit for showing up to the goddamn football games. Fuck you talking about. His dad came and spent nights at my house when he didn't have nowhere to go. What is you talking about? How John going to live with him when his daddy was living with us? And don't make me tell y'all what else his daddy did. I'm not going to lie. He was Child, let me come back on. <laughs> Carlisa is a mess. First of all, why does she keep saying he got his, his dick pinched? Like, what, like, she's always talking something sexual about her boys. That shit is weird to me. And then the other son was talking about how Carlisa was, like, teaching him how to give head. Like, the whole family is just very, very strange. Is Blueface half Mexican or something? Why was she saying that the Mexican lady pinched his dick? Was that like his auntie or something? What kind of, what, what in the child molestation is going on with this family? Like, they're just weird. Why was he living with a bunch of Mexicans? Is he half Mexican? The whole family is weird as hell. And it's like, she's so calm about it and she's just saying that. Okay, so some Mexican lady pinched his peen and you just, 
there were no charges filed? Like, what the hell are you talking about? This lady's weird as hell. He do look like he could be half Mexican. I know the, um, they said, no, the dad's woman is Mexican. She's just talking about it so casually. So was it the dad's new girlfriend who pinched him? The whole family's a mess. The entire family's a mess. Now, my thing is this with Blueface, right? He's talking all this shit about his mama and, you know, about how she's a whore. She got three kids by three different men. But what's very interesting is how doesn't that apply to him? He acts like he has, you know, his two children by Jaden Alexis as if he didn't just have a baby by Krishan Rock. Not even a few months ago. So you as a man, you have three kids by two different women. So why doesn't that make you a whore and a worthless man? Because you have two different baby mamas. I hate this double standard of if a woman has kids by multiple men, you know, somehow she's so devalued and this and that. Now, you got to know when to say when. You can't be out here having, you know, six baby daddies. I think that's a bit much, you know, but... I just find it very interesting when men say that, but then they have a bunch of kids by different women. Now, if you don't have a bunch of kids by different women, because like I said, you have every right to set your standards. I hate when people act like, oh, because you're a single mother, you don't have the right to set your standards. You absolutely the fuck do, okay? Again, I have kids. Both my kids are by my ex-husband. I'm not talking to a guy who got three and four kids by different women, four baby mamas, I'm not entertaining it at all. You know what I mean? And if you have kids, have you ever been married? Do they have the same mom? So yeah, you can have certain, you know, standards for yourself. But he's talking as if he don't have two baby mamas out here. You know, so I find that very, very strange. Like you have two kids, you know, three kids by two different women. So how are you any better than your mom? I think at the end of the day, people should be very careful with who they have children with. And you need to understand, too, that a man is going to treat you how they treat their mother. And he's very disrespectful to his mom. But the reason why he's so disrespectful to her, I blame her as a mother. She, none of her kids respect her because she's been so busy trying to be their friend. That's exactly how they treat her. They just treat her like she's just one of the homegirls. They talk to her crazy. They cuss her out all the time. They don't even call her mom. They call her Carlisa. So she set the standard for how her children treat her. Has she, you know what I'm saying, disciplined them and allowed them to know what she's willing to accept and not accept? He couldn't talk to her like that. And she's a young mom. She had them young. But I've never had my kids call me by my first name and just, you know, just wild out on me. It's like you have to, just because you're a teen parent doesn't mean that, yes, it's hard and you're damn near raising each other with your kids, but you're still the mom. You're still their parent. So you still have to set those boundaries and you have to start young, you know, like all little kids. When you have like when you're a teen mom, of course, your two year old is going to call you by your first name because they hear everybody else calling you by your first name. So then when they start calling you by your first name because your mom is calling you by your first name, all your friends are. You have to let them know, like, no, you don't call me by my first name. I'm mommy. You know what I mean? So it seems like she didn't have that conversation with her kids. She just allowed her kids to keep calling her by her first name, which is just weird to me. It's very weird. I just think, you know, it's just their whole dynamic. It should, and I'm not saying that she has done things to her kids, but her obsession with her sons are just weird. She's constantly too invested in their relationships. If he wants to marry the so-called milkmaid, that is his business. Why do you care so much? But like somebody said earlier when they were sending that super chat, they were saying that he's only marrying Jade and Alexis because he's dealing now with this $13 million lawsuit and also that shooting case that he might be trying to put assets in her name. And you can only put assets in somebody's name once you're married. So there's a new situation going on with Blueface. So I'm going to show you all this real quick. Okay. So it says here, rapper Blueface has been ordered to pay about $13.1 million in damages to the owner of the stuttered Las Vegas strip club, Euphoric Gentlemen's Club, who said that the rapper's involvement in the shooting outside of the venue a year ago led to the venue's closure a month later. 
the musical artist 26. I can't believe he's only 26. I thought he was older than that. Um, earlier this month was sentenced to three years probation in a plea deal in the attempted murder case stemming from the October 8, 2022 shooting outside the since closed strip club, which left the man with injuries to his hand. The Tatiana artist made headlines Sunday as he attended the Los Angeles Rams home game at the SoFi Stadium where he was pictured throwing wads of cash in his luxury box as, slant, as scantily clad women dance and he proposed to his girlfriend, Jaden Alexis. That's a lot of damn money. $13 million is no joke. I don't know if he's gonna end up settling or what he's gonna do, but um, I don't feel bad for him because he be just he does too much. He does too much. He talks to his mom crazy. Um, I don't feel bad for Krishan. He treats her like crap, but I don't feel bad for her because she knew what it was. She thought that she won a prize and she found out she got the same man that Jaden Alexis got. Um, Jaden is over here crying, you know, tears of happiness that he's finally settling down with her. But look how he treats her and talks to her and especially in front of the children. So it's just like another cycle of dysfunction. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see what ends up happening with that situation, though. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.